Hello students. Today's topic is on importance and scope of entomology. What is entomology? Entomology is the study of insects and their relationship to humans, plants, environment, and various other organisms. A person who is concerned with the entomology or a person who studies entomology as a subject and who is involved with the entomology is known as entomologist. Entomologists make great contributions to such diverse fields as agriculture, chemistry, biology, human or animal health, molecular science, criminology, and forensics. The study of insects serves as the basis for development in biological and chemical pest control, food and fiber production, storage, pharmaceuticals epidemiology, biological diversity, and a variety of other fields of science. Professional entomologists contribute to the betterment of humankind by detecting the role of insects in the spread of disease and discovering ways of protecting food and fiber crops and livestock from being damaged. They study the way beneficial insects contribute to the well-being of human beings, animals, and plants. Amateur entomologists are interested in insects because of the beauty and diversity of these creatures. Entomology is an ancient science concerned with the insects. Dating back to establishment of biology as a formal field of study by Aristotle. There are even earlier references to the use of insects in the daily life, such as growing of silkworms that began 4700 BC in China, which was an important part of peasant life in China as early as 4000 BC. More than a hundred years ago, entomologists formed a society, the Entomological Society of America, to promote the science and study of entomology in the United States. So what is an insect? So insect, the word insect comes from the Latin word insectum, which means cut or a divided body. The body of an insect is divided into three sections, head, thorax, and abdomen, respectively. And that is why it is called as divided body. There are various insects in the universe where insecta, the class insecta, is the largest class in the phylum Arthropoda. So entomology includes the importance of the study of their development, anatomy, insect physiology, insect life history, insect behavior, and about the environment and classification. Why the study of insects is important? Why? What do we study in entomology? The studying of insects include development of the insects. You need to know the development of the insect to classify, to recognize, to identify the type of the development, the type, uh, depending on the type of the development, the insect also might be known. So various development is seen in insects, like in simple terms.
complete development, incomplete development. And again, depending on the complete development. So here, different stages are present in the life history of insect. Depending on the complete stages in the life history of the insect, the development is said to be partial or complete. And it is very important to know the anatomical features of insects in basic, studying the basic entomology. The anatomy includes the study of various organs of the insects, which consists of digestive system, respiratory system, or trachealar system, circulatory system, reproductive system, endocrine system, and, and also the external morphological, external morphological features of the insects are also very important to know. The physiological mechanism is, draws various aspects of the insects in terms of its function physiology of respiration, digestion, circulation, hormonal ch changes. These are all very important to know, to study about insects. While knowing the life history of an insect, we know the development. The life history is in the form of a cycle, which consists of the egg stage to the adult stage, where a lot of changes takes place in between, where, which is known as metamorphosis. The growth and development takes place in the form of metamorphosis, which includes various stages in the life history. So the development is holometabolic development, hypermetabolic, parametabolic, hemimetabolic in nature. And the behavior, the insect's behavior, the physiological, physical behaviors plays an important role. This behavior makes the insects to keep intact with their colony if they are social insects. Some of the insects show protective coloration. Some of the insects mimics the other insects other organisms to protect themselves from the predators. They show the social behavior. They show division of labor. So all these are very important in entomology. Environment. If you know about the environment, if you know about the type of the food which the insect takes, if you know the habitat of the insect, if you know the nature of the insects, habits and habitat, we can classify them and we can know the environmental condition because these insects act as an environmental indicators for better understanding the relationship between the humans and the nature as well. So entomology, as we know, the science of studies of the biology, which consists of the structure and function of an insect, to know about the ecology and importance of the insects. Entomology is very important to know the structure and function, especially belonging to the morphological, physiological, genetical, and ecological behavior of the insect. And the study of interrelationship between the insects and themselves, as well as other organisms related to their environment, which concerns with the ecology, insect ecology. And to know the importance of beneficial and harmful insects. And those 
which provide economic importance to the human beings. Thus providing a lot of economy and some of the insects which are harmful insects which are spreading diseases causing a lot of havoc and problems to the environment, the human environment, all comes under the economic importance. Why entomology is important? The insects are huge in number in this world. Among the numerous animals, they are most abundant. They have enormous impact on people's lives. This entomology gives people a better understanding of the life with concern with the environment and the world which they exist. Entomology can be used to help reduce the extensive losses in the damage caused by insects each and every year. Ultimately, the study of insects, that is entomology, helps to improve the human life and betterment of animal health. Who needs entomologists? So before that, there are a list of famous entomologists which I've quoted here. A few, a very few, Louis Agassiz was born in Switzerland and also present in the United States in 1807. He's considered to be a famous entomologist. John Merton Aldrich of the United States, Ulysses Adrovanti of Italy, Charles Paul Alexander of United States are considered to be famous entomologists. What are the objectives of basic entomology? So what do we understand by studying the entomology? What is the need of studying basic entomology? One who studies the basic entomology will have a great idea on the biodiversity of insects, on the environment and the well-being of the human. So it helps in understanding the great diversity of insects, the genetic flexibility where the species in the form of beneficial and harmful present in the wild. Entomology helps in identifying the various kinds of insects and classifying them in the taxonomical divisions, which includes phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. It helps to know the characteristics, features of arthropods to note down the differences between various groups of the arthropods, for example, being chelicerator and mandibulator, and to describe the specialized feature of class insecta, and to describe the generalized parts of the chewing mouth parts, and modified kind or specialized kind of mouth parts through which the classification of insecta is made throughout, which is very important in basic entomology. And it helps, the objective is to know the internal morphology of the insect, especially with the features of all the systems concerned with the digestion, respiration, circulation, excretion, reproduction, and nervous systems. And to know the different types of metamorphosis, different types of growth and development, like parametabolus, hemimetabolus, hypermetabolus, holometabolus, 
gradual growth, gradual development, all this gives a lot of information regarding the insect groups in the basic entomology. And also basic entomology defines the terms, various terms concerned with the insects like instar stadium, generations, molting, occlusion, and various other terms. And helps in knowing the common and order names of the insect groups. Who needs entomologists? I did not keep a slide here, but I'll tell you. Who needs entomologists? Scientists. Why scientists? Because scientists by studying insects, entomologists have helped to produce much of our current knowledge on inheritance, physiology, and ecology of an insect. Second most important one are the farmers. Crops and food products are consumed or spoiled by insects, right? Entomologists are working to sustain optimal agricultural production throughout the world. The work of veterinary entomologists protects livestock from insect, insect borne illnesses. Third group are teachers. Who needs entomologists? Third group are teachers. Teachers use entomology in the classroom, like me, who is teaching the basic biological principles and concepts of the insects to you people, okay? Fourth group are environmentologists. Environment, environmentalists. Entomologists study environmental indicators to better understand the relationship between humans and nature by identifying endangered species and studying their ecosystems. Entomologists work to protect the environment and restore threatened habitats. That is very important contribution by the environmentalists. The other groups are industry, industries. Entomologists provide industry with many product opportunities in areas such as biological and chemical pest control, got it? Integrated pest management. So industry is given opportunities in areas of controlling the insects by manufacturing biological and chemical pesticides. Foresters, another group of foresters. Insects are one of the greatest destroyers of timber resources. Entomologists work with foresters to develop effective programs to battle these pests in order to protect forests and their biological wealth. What it? Animals. Environmentally sound biological control programs developed by entomologists have become standard features in a wide array of solutions which protect animals from harmful chemicals. The UN, what does the UN told us? United Nations, entomologists research is essential in solving insect-related food shortages and diseases throughout the world, according to UN. So you see how entomology is very important for the human beings in various aspects. Customs inspectors. Entomologists helps custom inspectors to intercept new pests before they enter a country and cause the positive problems through those kinds of insects. Not only the custom inspectors, but also, also the other groups which are influenced, which are needed, the entomologists are needed for even the militaries, the soldiers, marines, and sailors often encounter exotic insects with exotic diseases. Medical and veterinary entomologists 
lead the way in research to combat insects that carry diseases. Okay? The police, forensic entomologists use their expertise to help police to solve criminal cases. Got it? So they are used in wide fields. Homeowners, urban entomologists provide answers in our war with structural, tough, and ornamental insect pests. Artists, who needs entomologists? Who needs entomology? Guys, who needs entomologists? Who needs entomology? Let me tell you, artists also. Entomologists help to preserve the diversity and extraordinary beauty of insects, which are artists utilize for designs and patterns. You can find a lot of uh, artists drawing various kinds of insects, thus provide preserving the diversity and extraordinary beauty of this species. And I have seen a lot of uh, houseflies, butterflies, honeybees, drawings and designs of them by artisans. Have you? I think you also have observed it. Writers, even the writers write about the insects, which is an intriguing part of the ecological web. Entomologists can provide unusual twists to ordinary stories. Writers can spin a good tale because insects fascinate. Yes. Doctors, at least one sixth of the human race currently suffers from insect carrying diseases. The best example is malaria, right? Dengue, which is very much prevalent in our countries, in our tropical countries especially. Entomologists provide vital information on the treatment and prevention of these diseases or ailments. And last but not least, our world. Entomologists, who need entomologists? Our world. Entomologists and their study of insects help us increase the bounty of the planet and preserve its natural beauty. Got it? So this is the necessity of entomology throughout the world. Okay. Careers in entomology. So, okay. What are the careers in entomology? Let me tell you. Career opportunities for our graduates includes just uh, just a second. Yes. <coughs> okay. So in India, let me tell you uh, why to choose this uh, as a career opportunity. We, uh, as an Indians, mm, uh, we need to know about the importance of the entomological careers in our country. In India, entomology is taught as a sub-specialization of agricultural sciences, veterinary sciences. Remember, where just uh, uh, listen carefully. Veterinary sciences and forestry. And for that, you need to pursue, you have to pursue PG, post-graduation, MPhil or PhD. Now, uh, according to this new uh, policy of education 2020, MPhil is cancelled, okay? But uh, I don't know whether they have cancelled completely now or not. So maybe in the future, don't think about the MPhil, think about PhD, PG and PhD programs to get specialization in epiology. What is epiology? It is a science of beekeeping, myrmecology. It is a science that deals, the, deals with the insects like ants. Hemipterology, it is a study of disease causing bed bugs squash bugs, etc. Dipterology is the science of disease causing flies such as mosquitoes, house flies, etc. Orthopterology, science deals with the family orthoptera, including grasshoppers, locusts, cockroaches, crickets, mantises, etc. Several research organizations in India provide fellowships to entomologists like uh, 
Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Forest Research Institute, FRI, which is located in Dehradun, India, Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, ICFRE, Institute of Social Forestry and Eco Rehabilitation, which is, uh, which is present in Allahabad, Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, and they also employ entomologists in research at positions such as field biologist, junior research fellow, research associate, research scientist, and research analyst. Have you understood what you have to study in order to go to PEPG, PhD or PG? And where are these available as an entomologist? And let me tell you what is the eligibility to go uh, for PhD or P, I'm sorry, I mean before PhD, PG. After graduation, you need to go to this entomology as a subject. And there are various uh, subjects like a theology, I told you not just now, uh, that in, uh, orthopterology and so on and so forth regarding with the entomology in various institutes. And let me tell you. Uh, after graduation, that is bachelor's degrees from course in biological sciences, that is BSc biology or BSc agricultural science or BSc forestry or BSc zoology or life sciences or botany or BSc microbiology or anyone, etc. Aspirants, they can go for two years of post graduation in entomology or its related fields. Okay. The admission will be based on the entrance examination. Try to remember, and uh, there are various yeah uh, various institutes uh, for pursuing this P PG like Panaras Hindu University, Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra University, Vishakhapatnam, lovely professional university, Jalandhar, RIMT University, Punjab, Dolphin PG Institute of Biomedical and Natural Sciences, Dehradun, Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. Sanskriti University, Mathura, Uttaranchal College of Biomedical Sciences and Hospitals, Dehradun, BFIT Group of Institutions, Dehradun, Uttaranchal University, Dehradun. So what are the course of programs available on, in these places of BSc Agricultural Entomology, and uh, BSc Entomology, MSc Agricultural Entomology, MSc Entomology, MSc Public Entomology, Public Health Entomology, Entomology, PhD in Entomology, and uh, MSc Zoology, so on and so forth. Okay, so what is the future scope or careers in entomology? Uh, one, after pursuing PhD or PG or PhD in entomology or concerned field of the entomology, they can go or choose the career in as agricultural, biological, or genetical researcher. And uh, if you uh, go for research and, uh, and then you are selected for a scientist and that is a very reputed job and you'll get a lot of bugs out of that. And you'll be very much useful for the society as well. And you can go into uh, forensic entomology, public health, most of them have worked in applied entomology, working in insects such as honeybees, silkworms, ladybirds, beetles, parasitic wasps, etc. It requires scientific methods and procedures to prepare the records while analyzing data and coming to conclusions. It's good to have knowledge of horticulture, genetics, physiology, forestry, and you may be working in the lab as a specialist technician or a field researcher, background knowledge in horticulture, geneticist, physiologist, forestry will be great. Type of entomologist, you can be, uh, you can be entomologist in general uh, or pursuing higher studies for specialization, medical or public health environment uh, entomologist and, uh, and their work is related to health issues especially who is concerned with the public health, okay? And your work uh, and the work is related to health issues and also involved in the nuisance and disease causing insects like uh, house flies, cockroaches, mosquitoes, lice, fleas, ticks. Then forensic entomology. Forensic entomology, it, it deals with the crime scene evidences as well as 
graphic aspects of crime scenes. You will collect and analyze the specimen or data to give professional evidence. Okay, and your work will involve in the applications of insects in solving complex criminal scenes. So you can go as an agricultural entomologist, agricultural entomologist. What do they do? They work ways in which cash crops are saved from insect pests. You will educate and instruct farmers and farming institutions about the amount of pesticide to be used in the right proportions. Okay, forest and entomologist. You can go in uh, pharmaceutical industries, like you can go for natural resource management. You can go. You can go in uh, the fields of conserving the environment in the form of environmental biology. And you can uh, get uh, jobs in state and federal government agencies which are concerned with agriculture and entomology interrelated. And you can go in uh, food processing industries as well. And uh, you can interact with forest ecosystem. Like you uh, in forest ecosystem or environmental, it's just uh, what do you, will you do there? You will help in spreading, uh, you will help in the spread of forests uh, by preventing management of insect pests that cause the degrading and defoliating of the trees to the death of the trees and forests. And uh, yeah, you can go as a commercial entomologist also. Okay, here, what is medical entomology? So other than this, uh, yeah, so medical entomology. What is medical entomology? The entomology, which is concerned with the study of the insects, especially which are causing havoc uh, to the humans, that is spreading or causing diseases to the human beings, are especially concerned with the medical entomology. The species like uh, Pediculus humanus lice, which causes trench fever in humans, and uh, other uh, insects like fleas, ticks mites and bed bugs they also cause various diseases which are from mild to uh, severe and the sissy fly sand fly the sleeping sickness anaphylis mosquito causing malaria dengue and aedes aegypti causing yellow fever and these are all dead some of them are deadly diseases which are caused by the anaphylis mosquito and these are these studies of uh, studying of all these um, harmful insects which are mainly causing various diseases and uh, to the human welfare or especially dealt in the medical entomology. And uh, so, and this is a branch of uh, entomology, which is called as medical entomology. And uh, this is dealing not only with insects, but also with the other arthropods such as arachnids and uh, the other arthropods which are affecting the human beings. And also it uh, helps in contributing, uh, that is as a medical entomologist, what does the person do? The person contributes the information to the uh, governments and to the agencies uh, for the public and the individual health and the well-being of an individual, thus knowing the uh, various aspects of life uh, cycle aspects and the treatment uh, of the disorders which are concerned about these insects are well known by the well, uh, given the information is given by the entomologists. And uh, so, as you know, these uh, insects are most abundant on the earth and they occupy about, uh, arthropods occupying about four-fifths of uh, the animals uh, in, the, uh, in this universe. Uh, the insects comprising of about 70% uh, of known species of all the kind of the animals is said to be great. And there are harmful as well as uh, beneficial insects uh, and uh, the insects especially concerned uh, with the human concern, the health concern that is causing diseases or from harmful insects comes under the medically important uh, insects. Uh, and those insects which are not aiding the, uh, in, in medical assistance, but they are causing problem to the human beings which are comes, coming under the medical entomology. So medical entomology deals with the insects which are causing problem to the human beings by spreading various diseases and also, and thus uh, uh, eliminating or uh, deteriorating those kinds of diseases or eliminating certain kinds of insects uh, by various kinds of measures or techniques uh, 
by the entomologists and the doctors is dealt in the medical entomology. And uh, medical legal forensic entomology. Medical legal forensic entomology. So as I said just now, the, 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 uh, those who study uh, these sciences, of the branch sciences of medical legal forensic entomology, they get, uh, um, yeah, they get, uh, uh, they get uh, applications. Oh, uh, yeah, they are involved with applications of the insects in solving complex criminal cases, right? Agricultural. These entomologists, they have, they, 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 they show the professional evidences. And uh, uh, because they know about the specimen, if they collect and analyze the specimen which is collected in the crime scene, they give it, a, and these entomologists uh, which are dealt with this forensic entomologists, they give it correct or clear data in a professional kind of evidence. And this is also a very reputable job and uh, a rare job which is seen. And nowadays, uh, which, uh, this, most of the students are uh, likely to opt this kind of jobs and which is fascinating and of course, which is um, um, yeah, ex more excavation is seen and it's more uh, it involves a lot of suspense and a lot of thrill and a lot of excavation and uh, who is who want to explore the new things can go into such kind of field which involves the uh, which involves the knowledge of medical uh, legal and as well as forensic entomology so which they are likely to get into the Central Bureau of Investigation jobs also. So especially this medical legal forensic entomology helps in determination of the time of the, uh, or the site of the human death based on the identification of arthropods collected from or near the corpses, right? So after the post-mortem interval, uh, this can be used, this forensic entomology can guide them. And the traffic accidents uh, with no immediately obvious cause also can be determined by the presence of the insects which are uh, located in the uh, time of the accident or the place of the accident. And possible criminal misuse of the insects also can be uh, caught by this medical legal forensic entomologist. And they help the CBI, the police to take all these actions uh, by identifying the criminal misuse of the insects at the crime site. There is illegal smuggling of the insects also, uh, illegal smuggling of the insects from uh, one place to another place is also can be caught by the CBI and uh, uh, I mean, investigated officers along with the help of this uh, medical legal forensic entomologists, they can identify whether it's an endemic species or a rare species or extinct species, which is, so they give a lot of uh, information to the, uh, the crime, which is, uh, yeah, which has happened. Okay. So economic uh, entomology, another uh, branch of science, and another, another branch of uh, uh, entomology field which is linked with entomology is economic entomology. So in the economic entomology, especially economic entomology is concerned with the insect and the man. That is uh, in economic entomology, the insects which are studied here are both beneficial as well as harmful insects. So here uh, the beneficial insects, what are the beneficial insects? So the beneficial insects are or mm, the honeybees, silk worms, and certain beetles. So before that, pollination is the major thing which is carried out by the insects without which we can't even eat now because the food which we eat is mainly because of the pollination of these natural organisms called the honeybees and the other bees and wasps which helps in pollinating various kinds of plants and flowers. So without these insects, there is no pollination at all. So if there is no pollination, there is no fertilization. If there is no fertilization, there is no growth and there is no production. So the pollination is must and for the pollination, the majorly dependent, the plants are dependent on the pollination by these insects. And these are very beneficial uh, 
uh, things which is found in the nature. And honeybees, honeybees provide us with honey, propioles, uh, bee wax, and various other products, which is very important for us to get health and wealth as well. And silkworm, silkworm, uh, it gives silk, it produces silk, and the silk is a part of our tradition. Of course, China is the first country who has discovered silk thousands of years ago, and but later on India and also discovered and uh, to create the silk and of course and yes stand second place in producing the silk and of course using the silk because india uh, uses a lot of silk in our tradition and culture but because it seems to be majestic and it seems to be lustrous in nature and a lot of uh, ornamental valuables and economic products are obtained from the trees as well from various kinds of insects like uh, apiary business, just now as I told you, the honey, honey is obtained through, and honey products are obtained uh, through apiary businesses and silk businesses uh, by, from silk moths. And uh, so one can go into the ornamental commercial entomologists. So the scope of uh, entomology in this branch is uh, the person who pursue this economic entomology can go as a commercial entomologist who is uh, into the business of who can run uh, the ornamental business businesses and apiary businesses or silk business and uh, and also uh, and also they can also get uh, jobs to protect living spaces in and around the homes or restaurants and it's etc like shading trees, ornamental plant survey. Okay. Ornamental plant survey entomologists. Ornamental plant survey entomologists. This is also an economic entomology along with the, uh, the things which I mentioned just now. And this economic uh, ornamental plant survey entomologists, what do they do? They look out for possible insect outbreaks beforehand. And these persons will be involved in data and metrics in the presentation of the data to alert the authorities. Okay. And the parasitoids, certain, yeah, certain beetles, certain beetles also, which are uh, the uh, beneficial insects, uh, which are living in the soil and they can decompose organic matter and uh, they act as a scavengers, thus uh, eating or removing all the filth from the um, soil which is not useful for us and so the fertile soil is also got up by certain kinds of beetles and they are also acting as a beneficial purpose and other animal other organisms or so parasitoids what are parasitoids the parasitoids are small parasitic hymenopterous wasps what do they do these wasps uh, they can uh, parasitize other insects which are very harmful to the nature and they kill those, uh, um, they kill the other insects which are harmful to the nature, acting as a biological, biological pest insecticides. So they can be acting as control as parasitoids. Uh, they, can, they are uh, controlling the insects which are harmful to the environment. So the parasitoids uh, act as a biological pesticides or biological insecticides. These are also serving as a beneficial purpose to human beings. Okay. And uh, we have discussed about this uh, injurious uh, yeah, insects. Injurious insects are the insects which are causing a lot of problems or havocs to the human beings. Like phytophagous insects, they are attacking various crops and plants and thus reducing the crop production of the agriculture and leading because these phytophagous insects uh, as they attack there's a lot of destruction in the agriculture agricultural crops and so and because there is a destruction in the agricultural crops and the production and the yield is also disturbed and the economy and it, um, uh, it shows an impact on the economy as well so and they are creating a lot of problem in the fields of agriculture and various other industries as well. So insects uh, not only destroy the agriculture sector or the industrial sector or the granary, granary or various other um, 
branches, but also they transmit diseases to crops and uh, thus, thus acting as a vectors, not only for the crops, but also to the animals as well as human beings. And so the insects which are beneficial as well as harmful are concerned with economic entomologists and it's a branch of entomology and the people uh, who pursue this economic entomology are placed in various kinds of jobs, as I've told you, and they can be, uh, they can also go as a research entomologist uh, and uh, in knowing uh, the type of the pests which is harming the agricultural field or uh, the, the, the type of an insect which is acting as a vector and so that uh, through their research, they design the research studies, supervise the laboratory assistants, and they, they can record and analyze the data to report, prepare the reports. And they can publish the study of the reports and data in scientific journals for peer review. And so because of, due to these scientific studies, and, they are, and this is guided to the agriculturalists so for better management practices and integrated management uh, of these vectors and or insects for the better uh, agricultural management, okay? And, that's, and there is another that subject which is concerned with the insect toxicology. So uh, it, it is connected to the entomology is the insect toxicology. What does it uh, especially does? The insect toxicology plays an important role in controlling the insect pests in the field of agriculture, forestry, and public health. Because all these insects, are, they are, um, the insects which are present in the wild, especially in the forestry, uh, causing a lot of destruction in the forest and, and, and leading to the deterioration of uh, the endemic or the rare species which are present in the wild and uh, thus spreading various uh, deadly diseases and so. Uh, and also a lot of uh, concerns uh, are present in agricultural sector because of this insect pests and even in the public health they are causing a lot of uh, new diseases day by day and of course old diseases are transmitted and the new diseases, diseases are also arising day by day because of the changes in the environment and changes in the uh, standard of living and the habits of the uh, habits of the uh, human beings living now in the society and so all because of all this there is a scope for has which can which has come into being in the entomology in order to eradicate these this in order to eradicate this pest in order to eliminate these diseases uh, insect toxicology plays an important role which uh, mainly aims in uh, removing all these things and for a betterment uh, uh, for a better and uh, good life. So the toxic chemicals uh, so far are the main defense against the pest attacks. So no doubt there are a number of other control measures, but none of them match in their efficacy, speed, stability, and cost of operations with chemical control measures. So in view of these facts, the science of insect toxicology promises a better and brighter scope. So now it is uh, the insect uh, toxicology is mainly concerned with the natural botanical pesticides, biological pesticides. So botanical pesticides are the pesticides which are obtained from the plants, the plant products. And uh, biological pesticides, what are biological pesticides? Or um, the pesticides which are obtained from the living organisms, especially in Ovidus, uh, the pesticides are obtained from the bacteria, especially Bt bacteria, pyringenesis, and uh, parasitoids. Uh, uh, they're obtained even from fungi. They're obtained from even from the virus also. So there, so a lot of research is uh, taking. Uh, and so, of course, the synthetic and chemical pesticides are playing and their role uh, in eliminating various uh, pests, but uh, they are dominating this environment and thus deteriorating the level of the healthy environment. And thus, in order to combat all these problems and uh, the researchers are putting their lot of efforts in improving the, uh, in improving the standards of um, pest management in the form of IPM, integrated pest management. That means they are using the this biological botanical pesticides along with this chemical and synthetic pesticides, thus reducing the hazards and the, the uh, impacts, the, the bad impacts on the environment and thus trying to 
level level off and thus trying to good assist, uh, get a sustainable management in the environment through this ipm and ipm measures in agriculture sectors industrial sectors and even public health sectors so public health importance so the uh, this i already discussed about so the entomology which is concerned with the studying of uh, the insects which are uh, like which are this is causing insects uh, especially comes under the medical uh, entomology so that medical entomology is related with the public health importance here so which means that the hard like there are different kinds of insects which are transmitting the diseases for example the uh, trench fever or the monday spotted fever is uh, is mainly uh, uh, occurred by the tick typhus viral encephalitis is uh, russian spring summer encephalitis viral fevers are caused a lot of viral fevers are caused to, um, by this uh, insects because they act as a carriers of the vectors for various virus viruses or pathogens or bacteria and um, even various uh, various viral hemorrhagic fevers uh, like kfds in india tularemia tick paralysis and human babosis are also caused which is uh, uh, which lot causes lot of concern in the human uh, health care and so and uh, other ticks uh, also transmit q fever relapsing fever and kft and mali and uh, the most important uh, insects of the malarial uh, causing fevers of the anopheles mosquito culex mosquito aedes mosquito these are the mosquitoes which are causing lot of uh, problems in the hu uh, human health and so and the entomology which is concerned with the public health importance is uh, the medical entomology and uh, which uh, uh, the people who are involved with this uh, studies uh, they also can get jobs in public health importance uh, in public and as well as government health sectors as an uh, entomologist in guiding them and uh, helping them to diminish the uh, uh, diseases by studying their life cycles by studying their by contributing the much by, by contributing their studies to this for the public health importance okay and uh, yes so this is about the importance of entomology and the scope of entomology so and uh, you can study this entomology not only in india but also you can go abroad and because uh, there are a lot of facilities in abroad and nowadays um, as i told you in the beginning there are a lot of universities which are providing this uh, entomology as a pg subject and uh, entomology with its branches as a pg subject and you can get uh, uh, jobs in various uh, government as well as private sectors and if you wanted to move into other countries uh, since entomology is a specialized field of study and the people who wanted to study in uh, wsu wsu university uh, that have unique advantage of all small classes with ample opportunity to have one and one interactions with an entomology faculty over there and lot of lucrative jobs for uh, the, the graduates is available in that wcu wsu university which is located in uh, united states okay and also this uh, wsu university is a reputed university and uh, and uh, many of the students of wsu university had uh, got a national recognition for their work as well as those from the professional organization organizations it seems and uh, and then they give a training for the ipm programs and they give internship for this uh, uh, those who have completed the, the studies in entomology in a specialized field of entomology in these universities and they give research they offer research projects also so if you are uh, likely to pursue the P pg or phd masters or phd you can uh, uh, you can serve the nut okay and you can search in uh, with uh, google and uh, for career opportunities 
and you will get uh, in the career opportunities in federal government agencies in uh, EPA, USDA, FIS, uh, State Departments of Agriculture and Ecology, State Agricultural Research Stations, University Extension Services, Agri Agrichemical Company Fields, Representatives, Research, Sales, Agricultural Consulting Firms, Private Agribusiness Firms, Timber and Seed Production Companies, international development agencies in IPM majors with urban options having career opportunities as pest control operators, uh, parkland and golf course pest management specialists, mosquito abatement districts, weed control districts, food processing industry, ornamental plant protection, public health service, industrial pest control consultant, and also with the armed forces. These are all some of them. Some of these I told you even uh, in the previous slides. Okay, so these are all the uh, opportunities which were provided even in the abroad. That is especially in USA WSU WS University. Okay, so so this is about uh, today's class about the importance. Yeah, before uh, ending this. Okay, this is, um, before ending this, what I have taught you today, I've told you about the importance of the insects. And uh, I told you about what are the basic things uh, which, which are learned in uh, basic entomology. And uh, we have learned about the detailed definitions and content of the entomology and why the studying of entomology is important and for whom the entomology is important, necessary, who needs entomologists? That is also we have learned today and we have seen some of the famous entomologists and what are the main objectives of basic entomology and what are the main career options which we get after studying entomology as an undergraduation and post-graduation level or PhD level. And uh, we have seen some of the branches which are concerned with entomology as in uh, like medical entomology, medi medico legal entomology, forensic entomology, economic entomology, insect toxicology, and public health importance as well. So this is today's class regarding the importance and scope of entomology. Oh, I, uh, I think you have understood about this class, guys. So we will know something more about the entomology in the next class. Until then, 